Okay, well, good morning. I had an idea, you know, we're all getting a little more creative these days as we've been in social isolation, so to speak. And <clears throat> what I got to thinking about is, you know, we all need to spend more time, uh, more quiet time, more contemplative time, more time meditating on God's Word. And I thought, well, how fun would it be to incorporate an art expression, a visual of what we're feeling? And this is not like a, a class on drawing or painting or anything like that. This is like time together, just creating something out of your spirit that speaks to you from the word and you're going to create it visually. So we're going to call it like our morning expression time with Jane or something like that. But this morning I read the most wonderful verse. It's one of my favorite verses in the Bible. But before we get started on that, I want to just tell you that these are designed for you to do them with me. I'm going to try to do them pretty quickly, like within 15 to 30 minutes at the most. So, and you can use whatever you have. You can just use plain old typing paper if you want to, or you can get like a sketch pad if you want to, or you can even take like a, uh, a composition book and you can make it into your art journal book. And what I did is I just went through and glued like two or three pages together with a glue stick. And then it makes the pages stronger and then you can use it for like an art journal. And as you can see, it would have been better if I would have taken out like, I don't know, maybe a fourth of the pages out of the center and it would have laid better. But, you know, whatever. Whatever you have is great. And then if you have watercolor paints or acrylics, I'm going to use acrylics. And you can see that I'm using some that are just like really, that are really nice and others that are really cheap. And you can even just use craft paint. Um, you can use markers, crayons, um, pastels, anything like that that you want, okay? So just kind of gather some supplies. And I'm just going to move those out of the way. Um, but anyway, so this morning I was reading a scripture that I think is always applicable, but it was really applicable for our present time. And it's found in Isaiah chapter 33, verse 6. And it says, He will be the stability of your times. He will be the stability of your times. So we don't have to come up with this ourselves. You know, He will give it to us. He has it. Because He has a wealth of salvation, wisdom, and knowledge for us. Isn't that awesome? So God can be with you during this time, be your stability. And he can provide you with just a wealth, which means an abundance, more than enough of salvation, which means deliverance. That means like sozo, like body, soul, and spirit. Healing in every part of your body. And a sound mind as for being stretched. But he can also give us wisdom, which comes with creativity, creative problem solving, and knowledge. So that's the scripture that we're going to use today to do our art demonstration. Okay, so let me see if I can get the camera turned back around. And you can go, you can put me on pause and go get your, your art supplies, or you might want to do it later. Okay, I think you'll be able to see that okay. All right. So the first thing we're going to start with is we don't deny that there's a problem swirling around us, but we're not going to focus on it. But we are going to start. Now you can use paint brushes, you can use your hands, whatever you want. But I want you to think about the problem. What colors would you use to describe the problem that we're facing right now or that you're facing right now? It doesn't have to be about the coronavirus, but it can be because it's affecting all of us. So pick out those colors. I just happened to pick black and red, but you can pick any color you want. 
And then we're just going to express how we feel about it on the paper. And I'm just going to use my fingers. Just express what you're feeling about it. Okay. I use an old washcloth to kind of keep my hands kind of clean. But it is. We're not denying that there's a very real threat. But we are realizing and focusing on that God is a very present help in time of trouble. He is not far off. He is not taken unaware. But yes, there is death. There is danger. And it is not from him. You know, the devil comes to kill. He comes to steal. And he comes to destroy. So anytime you have those things going on in your life, you know it's not God. It's the devil. And Jesus came that we would have life and that we would have it abundantly. So just go ahead and paint, like I said, with your hands or with a brush or both. And just express what you're feeling. I'm talking too much. I don't want to distract you. Just paint whatever you're feeling. Don't worry about what you're doing or what it looks like. It doesn't even need to look like anything. It's going to be pretty abstract. Or it can be a mixture, you know. Got to turn on my. There's a wonderful um, kind of meditative, quiet music that is done by an artist that I just love. I have listened to her for years. It's Julie True. You can pull her up on any of the mediums. Medias. Even express how you're feeling, not just in color, but even by motion. Okay, so the next part of the verse, you've kind of illustrated the problem, the danger you're feeling about it. Now, uh, the next part of the verse says that he, he will be the stability of our times. So you can express that stability on this paper any way that you want to. I mean, you might want to draw a rock or a mountain. Just whatever, you, whatever you, it makes you think of. I think I'm going to just paint. I'm going to use brown. It's kind of we think makes you think of a rock, but I think I'm going to just paint a high place. High above the troubles. He does tell us that we're seated in the heavenlies with Christ. Which we're still trying to figure out how we 
go up there. So I'm just painting I said you don't have to paint anything that is real you don't have to just paint something that represents stability you paint your symbol for stability I want you to put yourself in the safe place put yourself in the high place put yourself in the cave or where, whatever you made that resembled stability to you and it can just be a symbol for yourself it could be like a, a round circle or a dot or it could be a stick figure whatever you want in whatever color you want. I'm going to use the color purple because I'm a daughter of the king. So are you. We're related. We're family. I'm his daughter. And he's the king. So I'm a princess. So I'm just going to make a representation of myself in worship. In this place of stability. And then the next thing he tells us, he's not only our stability, he's a wealth of salvation, of wisdom and knowledge. Everything that we need and more than enough. So I'm going to take just a minute and dry this because what I want to do, I don't want to smear smear this you can just let it dry you can get a hair dryer this is a little heat gun but you can get just use a hair dryer even if you want to if you need to I'm kind of impatient I kind of like to keep going instead of wait for things to dry so I'm just gonna let that get that nice and dry now think about how you want to represent salvation, wisdom, and knowledge coming to you in whatever colors you want, whatever you want to do. And since I'm up above the troubles, I love this color blue. I'm going to use this for the heavenlies. So I could have actually put that on before I painted the my but I didn't so it doesn't matter you guys you just paint however you want however you see it however you feel it okay this is just for us this is just for us to, to remind us Okay, so got the heavenlies up there. Now we have to dry that again real quick because I forgot to do that earlier. Lots of times I like for the colors to blend. I don't always dry in between, but I think for this, I, want, I don't want the color to blend. So I'm going to dry it. You just go right ahead as, as you are thinking about how you want to represent wealth and knowledge, wisdom and knowledge coming from you, coming to you, salvation, wisdom and knowledge coming to you. You just go ahead and express it however you want. I'm looking for a clean finger. 
I think I'll use this one. I'm going to use yellow. Oh, don't have any yellow. That's dry. There we go. That's too much. <laughs> I'll paint something else after a while. I don't want to waste it. Okay. Uh, you know what? I think I'm going to use paintbrush. I don't always. But I think I want to for this one. A little bit of water on there. Is that green? I don't want to have green in my paintbrush. No, it's not. It's just the that's the bad thing about using a blue plate, huh? Okay, I think I want to just represent what God is giving to me in a swirl around me. You know, here. It's a little darker than I, what I wanted, but it's okay. Now. You could be finished, and you could just write Isaiah 33, 6 down here. Or if you want to write out the whole scripture on your page somewhere, you can. So I think I am going to do that. It will help me remember the scripture. But you certainly it's, don't have to. In fact, you could write it on the back even. Write it out on the back. And use this kind of like, you know, your journal. Your morning contemplative journal so i'm just going to dry that just a little bit since i'm going to write on here if you're using sharpies and that kind of thing you got to be sure it's really dry or it will ruin them i'm going to use this uh, posca pen and i think i want to write what god is giving to me so i'm going to write Salvation. Wisdom. Oh, and he says we can ask. He has all wisdom and knowledge and understanding. And this would be enough, but I think I'm going to write the rest of the verse. And I think I'm going to write it along here. And he will be the stability of your times. A wealth. I love that word, that word wealth. That means abundance. So he will be the stability of your times, a wealth of salvation, wisdom, and knowledge. And I think I'll put the scripture reference down here. Isaiah 33, 6. And today's date. We should put the date on it. Ah, I don't know what today is. It's either the 7th or the 8th. Let's put, I'm going to put the 7th. <laughs> I may be wrong. So you put, you put the date on there for yourself. There you go. So take your time and, and do this on your own. When it's quiet, just turn on some music. You don't have me talking or do it with me. That's fun too. Anyway, I hope you have a blessed day. Um, and I pray that you navigate this time with God and stability and peace, health and joy.
Bye. See you again soon.